to useful graphic design tutorials videos. My name's Caroline and I'm going to take you through this first video. But don't worry, you'll meet Davina, my sister, in the next one. So what are our aims in these videos? Well, we want to show you how to create a graphic from start to finish so you have something you can use. And then you can apply this information and knowledge and create other graphics such as headers, flyers, adverts and so on. We're using Inkscape to do this. So why are we using Inkscape? Well, there's no doubt about it. There's plenty of photo mani manipulation software out there. Things such as GIMP, Coral Draw, Photoshop. But Inkscape is a vector drawing program and it's particularly well suited to creating graphics. It's also free. It's a vector drawing program. It's very flexible. It's intuitive to use and it has loads of capabilities. So if you're interested in finding out a little bit more about how to use it, and we do recommend that you do because it's a great tool, then it's got plenty of meat to get your teeth into. So what I'm going to do in this video is to show you how to download Inkscape for Windows. I'm going to use Windows 7, but I think it's probably going to be pretty much the same for Vista or XP. And we're going to download the latest version, which is uh, 4.8.2. So I'm now going to pause the video as I go over to the Inkscape site and show you how to do that. So here we are on the Inkscape.org site. And Inkscape is a free open source vector-based program that you can use to create graphics, both on the web and in print. It's compatible with Windows, Mac, Linux and Solarius. And as we said before, it's a drawing program as opposed to a photo manipulation program. And it is much better to use for creating clip art, logos, business cards, because no matter how much you increase the size of the vector images, the quality and crispness is preserved. And that's not true with a raster image. If you'd like to find out more about the difference between a vector and a raster image, you can click on the link in the accompanying email where we go through this. And it is an important distinction to know. So here we are on the Inkscape page. And there's three basic steps to downloading it. Over here on the right you'll see the note download now. The latest stable version 0.48.2. So just click on the download now button. That will take us to a page where there's quite a few other bits and pieces on, most of which are adverts. And it's this central link here that we want to click on to. And the next page you'll see here there's a countdown. So these here you don't have to touch at all, they're just adverts. Then you get a window asking where you'd like to save the application to and then you click save. That then downloads the program. And then when the program's downloaded to simply install you double click on it and it will install on your system, which I'm not going to do for the moment because I already have it on. So that's all for this video, but if you have any questions or comments, please do come and visit us either on our Facebook page, the address of which is now on the screen, or you can email us at sisters at usefulgraphicdesigntutorials.com. But that's all for this video, and we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.